Hello and welcome in Matthew's RC Garage. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Today I'm going to start a new build series. It's the GSO2F chassis from GMA called Buffalo. It looks amazing in my opinion. I'm looking forward to build it. On the first pages of the build manual the needed equipment is shown. And here the required tools. On the next pages all included parts of this kit are shown. And here is step 1 of the build instructions. This is the build of the two differential gears for the front and rear axle. Of course, there is no differential gear because this truck is a crawler. Instead, we have to assemble this diff locker parts and screw it together with three screws. Then, two bearings have to be added. And these two gears are finished. By the way, all screws are separately packed in plastic bags and marked with their dimensions. So it's clear which one are the correct screws. Step 2 is the build of the inner axle housing with universal joint and bevel gear. First insert the bearings. Then the shaft and the bevel gear. The bevel gear holds with a small E-clip on the shaft. And in step 3 we can screw this part to the front axle housing. Step 4 is the assembly of the front axle gearbox. For all gears I use this high performance grease. I got it on a local hardware store. It's made for real cars too. I apply a bit of grease here on the bevel gear. And then insert the diff gear assembled in step 1. Also on this gear I add some grease. Now I can install the gear holders on both sides. Be careful not to over tighten these screws. Before I close the diff cover I apply a bit of grease on the housing for better sealing. Then I close the diff and screw on the cover. Here you can see the finished front axle gear housing. Step 5 is the installation of the front C hops. First a bearing, then the C hop. Be sure to use the correct part and install it on the correct position. This line here should be aligned with the mark on the axle housing. And so there is the correct caster angle for the front C-hubs. Finally the parts can be fixed with two socket screws. Step 6A and 6B is assembling of the front drive shafts and front universals. I add a bit of grease and put together the parts. This ring holds the pin in place. Be sure to install it on the correct orientation as shown in the manual. Here are the finished parts. Step 7 is to insert these shafts into the axle housing. One side 
and the other side. Step 8 is the installation of the steering knuckles. On this leaf I use a bit of grease. Then insert it on the knuckle. Next press in the bearings. And then install it on the axle. Be sure not to tighten these screws too much. The part should be freely movable. Step 9 is the installation of the link holders on the axle. And here is the finished front axle. Step 10 is the assembling of the rear axle. The installation of the bevel gear is the same as on the front axle. And here also, the inner cover holds with four screws. Again, I use a bit of grease on the bevel gear. Insert a diff gear and add a bit of grease on this gear also. Step 11 is to close the rear axle housing. First the two holders on each side. Then close the diff cover. Next the upper link holder have to be installed. Step 12 is the installation of the axle shafts. First add the bearings. Then insert them into the axle housing. In step 13 we can finish the rear axle. Add the end caps and secure it with two socket bolts. And as last step, screw on the lower link holders. So the rear axle is also finished. Here you can see the front and rear axle completed. So this is it for the moment. The next step is the main gearbox and transmission. Stay tuned to see this, subscribe to my channel you haven't already and please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.